everyone and happy Tuesday. Today is my last live video for this year and I'm very excited because usually my very last video I always do a reflection of the year and <laughs> there's a lot to say about this one. So naturally this year has been a bit of a disaster for a lot of people and I'm no exception to that. And I could talk about all of the things that I didn't get to do or the things that I had to cancel because of COVID, but that's not really why we're here. So I'm going to talk about some of the good things that happened this year, because as my Instagram post says yesterday, the fact that we're still here at the end of the year is a very big accomplishment. And I just want to take a minute to acknowledge that because there was a lot of people that had a very, very dark year. And in March, we weren't sure how long it was going to go on. We didn't know what was happening. We had to go out and get masks for the first time. And here we are nine months later and we're still in it. So to everybody who's making an effort to keep themselves safe and keep others around them safe and all of the frontline workers, I want to share my appreciation with you. I know my brother, um, his work is technically frontline as well because he works at Healthy Planet and Markham. And because they sell supplements and food and things like that, they are considered an essential service. So he has had to go to work the whole time wearing face shields and masks and sanitizing. And I think they had gloves at one point but just the amount of effort that everybody's putting in to continue to be able to operate is really heartwarming. At the same time, this year was the year that we did our renovation here. And I haven't given anybody a tour, obviously because COVID, nobody can come over and see it. But if you would like a virtual tour and you want to see what it looks like, feel free to PM me and I can Put together a video for that um but yeah this year i think that was the biggest thing it started in may just before the original lockdown pushed it back a month so we were supposed to start in april we started in may and because we already had approval from the town and our permit to start we were allowed to start and we managed to get all of our supplies. There was a couple of little delays, but nothing too serious, which we were really lucky for. And everything turned out beautifully. And my family is very pleased with it. My mom loves her new workroom. And those of you that are coming back to see her when COVID's over, will get to enjoy it then. And it's really nice to have my stepdad living here now. So, in case you didn't know, that's the main reason we were doing it. So we have more space. We've been moving around a lot of things. Obviously this room used to be my bedroom. And if you've seen my videos before, they were sitting at my desk over there and the room is also orange. <laughs> so trying to blend it all together, make it look really nice. This room energetically is very different now because it's strictly for work and school. And I have always lived in this room, except for when I was at Western. So for me to be able to set up a room furniture wise, even the way that I wanted to, was a big deal for me. And having gone through my minimalist um, journey, I guess you would say, about a year ago, two years ago, um, got rid of a lot of stuff, donated a lot of it, rehomed a lot of it. And now this room is what I had always hoped it would be. And I get to have the freedom to use the floor. There's a lot of floor space in here now. Um, but just having those rooms separate mentally is really important for me. Because I know when I leave this room, my brain can turn off at least a little bit. I know entrepreneurs don't really their brains never really turn off for stuff like that. They're always thinking about something because you never know when inspiration will strike. But that was the biggest thing this year. I mean, I could talk about all the other things that I did or didn't do, 
but I think the main point of this video is just to remind you that you made it to the end of the year and regardless of what that year looked like for you, that is an enormous accomplishment and you should be very, very proud of yourself. Even if it was really hard, knowing that you can do hard things is very, very important. And some of the biggest things I've learned this year, and we joke about this a lot, um, is that no matter what you think or you have planned, the universe always has a different plan for us. And sometimes it's something bigger and grander than we would have ever thought of for ourselves. And obviously this year, the all the things that we had planned and we had hoped for, maybe some of them did happen and that's great. But for a lot of people, many of them didn't and that's also okay. Because there's always another year and there's always something else. Still vegan, that's a thing. Um, it was November 24th, two years ago, that I switched overnight and don't regret it to this day. It's one of the greatest decisions I've ever made for myself. And I think that it's something now that has helped me develop so many other skills, like cooking, learning how to use spices. It was a really fun experiment in, you know, you go to the store and you see a spice you've never had before and you're like, oh, cool, I want to try this out. So you get the spice, you go home and you find recipes to go with that. So there's always some part of my brain that's thinking about food now because I'm, I plan my day around, you know, having enough food and making sure I have time to prep that food. But cooking is something that makes me really happy and getting to spend more time doing that also makes me very happy. Kaya turned five this year. I know it feels like it was a long, long time ago, but she's actually five. And I know a lot of people said, what do you mean? She's only two. I said, no, she's five and a half now. And it's time goes really fast. So being able to have this time and be more present with her because of quarantine and going on all our forest hikes was really, really wonderful. But getting to have all that extra time with her will always be appreciated. Two notes on Instagram. One, all of my live videos will now be on Instagram. So if you're watching this, as with every Tuesday morning at 8 a.m., hop on over to my Instagram at Birch Animal Wellness and all of my lives will be there. And they'll either be Fridays or Saturdays because depending on um, some pet holidays or things like that, they may alternate. Um, and also, if you're interested in animal acupressure and following an account that will teach you a little more about it, Tallgrass Canada now has an Instagram account. I haven't posted anything yet, but the account is made and the posts will start the first week of January. So you can go follow that at Tallgrass Canada on Instagram too. But it has been an absolute honor being able to connect with some of you on here. And I hope that we can continue that over on Instagram because I'm trying to narrow my platform a little more. And now that I have two Instagrams to manage, it's easier to stick with the one platform. But I hope that you found this even a little helpful and that when you, if you do a yearly reflection, that you take the time to think about just your simple wins. Things like, I made sure that I ate enough and I made sure that I got some exercise. Because those are big things in a year like this. And for some people, that's a big thing no matter what. So just take, the, take a minute to acknowledge how far you've come and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your year. I know Thursday is New Year's Day, New Year's Eve. So I hope that you do something nice for yourself on New Year's Eve. And whether you start off New Year's Day, as most people do in January, trying to be super productive and start all the new habits and all of those things that you remember to be kind to yourself. But there'll be an Instagram live on goal setting the first weekend of January. 
So something to look forward to. If you're not quite sure what your goals are for next year yet, that's perfectly okay. Don't feel pressure to just because new year, everybody tries to set all these new habits and goals and many of them don't last till the end of January even. So don't worry too much about that. But I hope you have a fabulous rest of your year and I will see you over on Instagram the end of the first week of January. Happy 2020!